Usually when you guys hear me talk about Rock Island Armory, it's about how they make one of the best 1911s on the market and clearly the best value of a 1911 on the market. Today, we are talking about Rock Island Armory, but not 1911s. Martin and the staff over at Rock Island Armory have always listened to the people and always tried to bring what the people wanted to them. Hence, their 1911s. Their 1911s are some of the best values on the market today and some of the most reliable 1911s on the market today. But they also know that there are other tools out there that the people generally like to use to defend themselves. Enter the VR60 by Rock Island Armory. This is a gas-operated, box-fed, semi-automatic 12-gauge shotgun, and this thing is pretty cool. Rock Island Armory took the same approach with their VR60 and their line of shotguns as they have with their 1911s. They try to give you all the features that you need and that you want and that are usable and in the places that they need to be. As you can see, the mag release is right where you want it to be, very easy to get to. The charging handle is an extended charging handle, very nice size. I like the way it's inverted in the middle right there so you're not going to lose your grip when you're charging this thing in a high stress situation. Of course, the controls on the left side are the same too, your safety and your bolt release. The sights are very much like an M16 set of sights. You have your carry handle with your sights inside of it, and you have your post sight up front. The pistol grip has a look and the feel of an ergo grip or a hoe grip. Very nice, easy to hold on to, and definitely fills your palm in. The accessory rail on all four sides of the handguard is a nice addition in the event you want to put anything from a vertical handle on there to light, laser, anything of that nature. Definitely will fit on this thing. Of course, you have your sling attachments in the event you want to carry this thing through the woods. The gun comes with three choke tubes, a choke tube wrench, a box that they go in, an extended pad for your buttstock, two gas system attachments, one for heavy loads, one for light loads, two five round magazines, and of course, the shotgun. Now, one of the cool things about a box fed shotgun is the fact that it's a box fed shotgun. You can make effective, fast magazine changes relatively quick. Again, we have a five round magazine right here. I understand your other shotgun, you can already store five, but can you reload as fast as this? That's pretty quick. One of the things that I noticed in reloading this Rock Island Army VR60 is the fact that you have a tendency to want to reload your magazine into your magwell somewhat like an AR-15, either trying to go straight in or even like an AK-47 where you come in with the top lip first and rock the thing in. That's not how you want to do this. To have real fast effective reloads, you kind of got to put that bottom lip in first and then roll your hand up and in. In other words, you're rolling your hand up like this and inwards at the very same time in a rocking motion and it seats this thing perfectly. If you try to come in from the top, you're going to struggle with this thing. If you try to come in straight, you've still got to maneuver it in there. But if you come in with the bottom first and rock the thing in there, and you don't have to do it quite so hard like I did, just roll it in. It's a fluid motion like that. So that's one thing that may help you in terms of making those fast and effective reloads is just simply, again, putting that bottom lip barely in and then rocking the thing inward. All right, I know what you're saying. Prove it, right? All right, I got 10 steel targets down here. I'm gonna try to knock the first five on the left down with my five rounds in my magazine. I have another magazine with five rounds in my back pocket, and then I'm gonna try to take the other five out on the right-hand side. So, wish me luck here. All right, the thing wasn't all the way back, but I did hit my first two targets. I hit that one too, it just did not fall. See how I went back in there? All right, I hit this one over here. It just didn't fall, but I missed one. I think my second shot over here, <laughs> and, and, and it fell, but I hit one of these other ones and it popped back up. One of the cool things about, of course, a shotgun is the fact that it's so versatile. You can take it from either self-defense or you can go hunting with it. What I've done here is I've set up three steel targets. One, two, three. The very third one will trigger a skeet, a clay pigeon that will fly up and go off to the side over here. I'm gonna see if I can hit those three. I've, I've only put four rounds in my magazine. I'm gonna see if I can hit the three pieces of steel, which is not gonna be a problem, and see if I can't hit the skeet and show you that I could actually take this thing bird hunting if I wanted to. Here we go. All safe. Got it. Got it by the tail feather, but I got it. <laughs> Very cool. This thing definitely would, uh, would double as a shotgun to hunt with, no doubt. Now, speaking of hunting, I have a target set up out here at 30 yards. I have some double out buckshot in here. Let's see if I can hit it from 30 yards.
I like the sing of that thing. 30 yards of buckshot, I'll take that. Take this thing hunting. Now, if you're in a three gun, maybe this is the gun for you too. I'm not real good at action shots. <laughs> let me let you see what it would look like. Yeah, we might want to put that in slow motion. <laughs> I'm a little too old to try to move fast. As many times I've missed these things today, I'm out of ammo. I had a blast today. Shooting this VR60 by Rock Island Armory, it's a lot of fun, man. Look, the system itself, the way the gas system absorbs this recoil, even shooting those rifled slugs and buckshot and things like that, it, the recoil was tameable. Everything was tameable today. The thing I like most about the VR60 is the very fact that everything is familiar to you. Because you're familiar with an AR-15 style weapon, all the controls are familiar. You know, again, your, your mag release, your everything, your safety, everything is where you want it to be. I would say due to the size of this VR60, it's more like shooting an AR-10, a little bit bigger, bulkier, uh, seven pound weight. I believe that's about what the weight is. Not bad at all. Hey man, look, I get it. A box fed shotgun is not, uh, it's not brand new. It's not the most new thing on the market. A lot of other people have done it. Uh, our friends over at Black Aces Tactical, they have a really cool one that they've done. Um, there's a lot of models out there that use a box fed. I'll just have to say that I know that Rock Island Armory has done this right. Martin and his staff are not gonna put a product out that they cannot stand behind. That stamp you see on the receiver, that's giving this thing a lifetime warranty. How many guys do you know who are gonna take an import out there and put their own name on it and give it a lifetime warranty on an import? You know why? Because Martin and his staff had some input in the design and the manufacture and the quality control of this VR60, so they feel confident standing behind it. Look, this thing is fun to shoot. Definitely want to take a look at one if you get a chance. I think the MSRP on these things is about $499, so you know you'll get it a little bit cheaper than that. Very, very worth the money. You take this thing, you defend your family with it, or you go put food on your table with it by hunting. It's a totally versatile shotgun.